is Jonah. Those are his parents. And that was the best picture taken that day. Tortured by their constant judgment and unrealistic expectations, their relationship was complicated. Jonah even once saved for an entire year, sending them on a tour of wine country in an attempt to win their approval. But as usual, things didn't work out for him. And on their way to the last vineyard, an oncoming motorist collided with them, and both parents died in a fiery wreck. After the funeral, Jonah learned his parents were in severe debt when the banks repossessed their house and most of their savings. Confused, Jonah spent what little money was left on a prostitute named Jolene, whom he didn't fuck, but kept awake all night talking before she eventually robbed him. What up? Are you home? Uh, no, just organizing shit at my parents' place. Why? Well, if I stop by? Why are you calling instead of texting? Just in the area. All right, see you soon. Stupid motherfucking fucking fuck 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 fuck. fuck. Ah! This is Jonah's best friend, Richard. And his upbringing was nearly the opposite. Close with his father and raised in a household many would consider affluent, Richard was, as you can clearly see, used to things going in a certain way. His bank account has over six figures in it, which he enjoyed spending lavishly on his two best friends. But just like his father, Richard is prone to fits of rage and one time threw his laptop into his flat screen TV all because he couldn't remember the password to his own email account. Stupid motherfucker! This is Richard's long-term partner, Sasha. She grew up in a military house who disapproved of the lavish lifestyle Richard provided her with, especially her hot pink sports car she named Ziggy Cardust. Speaking of cars, she was once a witness in a hit and run case, but failed to show in court when Richard and Jonah convinced her to get drunk instead. But the accident did inspire her to attend and graduate from nursing school, where she now spends her days providing physical and emotional care at a nearby retirement home. And the evenings and weekends pretty much doing the same thing for these two. Uh-oh. 